Ever wonder if opposites really do attract? I mean, can a sign that practically has structure tattooed on their forehead really find true love with? Like a free-flowing fish. Mm -hmm. That's what we're diving into today. Capricorn and Pisces romantic compatibility. Okay. And we've got a single source that really digs deep into this fascinating pairing. It is fascinating, yeah. This pairing really challenges those classic relationship adages. It's like, do we seek someone who reflects our values or someone who shakes them up? Right. And with Capricorn and Pisces, it might be a bit of both. Okay, let's unpack this. Our source starts with the initial spark, and apparently there can be some serious heat between these two. Who knew? Right. It's that classic grounded earth sign meets emotionally fluid water sign dynamic. Yeah. Capricorn, ruled by Saturn, the planet of structure and discipline, actually finds a haven in Pisces' emotional depth. Think of it like this. Capricorn is a mountain. Okay. Solid and unwavering. While Pisces is the river, carving its own path, but finding a sense of direction as it flows around that mountain. I love that visual. Yeah. You're making me see Capricorns in a whole new light. But it's more than just surface level attraction, yeah. right? Right. Our source talks about a deep intuitive connection. Exactly. And this isn't just about compassion. It's about a profound understanding that transcends words. Ooh. For example, Pisces might sense Capricorn's unexpressed worries or anxieties and offer comfort without Capricorn needing to spell it out. Wow. On the flip side, Capricorn might intuitively understand when Pisces needs a quiet moment of solitude to recharge. So they just get each other. Yeah. In a way that other signs might not. But can that intuition translate to trust? Because, let's be real, Capricorns and Pisces seem to move through the world in very different ways. This is where things get really interesting. Both signs value trust immensely, but their paths to building it are totally different. Capricorn, with that grounded earth energy, equates trust with consistency. Mm -hmm. They need to see those words backed up by actions time and time again. Reliability is their love language. I can see that. Absolutely. But for Pisces, trust is built through emotional openness and vulnerability. Okay. They need to feel safe sharing their deepest fears and dreams without judgment. So are you saying this is a recipe for disaster? Because I can see how that could go wrong, like Capricorn thinking Pisces is being too wishy-washy. Yeah. And Pisces thinking Capricorn is an emotionless robot. It's definitely a tightrope walk. The source highlights that Capricorn's direct communication, which can come across as blunt, might make Pisces withdraw, right. afraid to fully open up. Meanwhile, Capricorn might find Pisces' emotional world a bit elusive, like trying to grasp a handful of water, you know? Yeah. Always shifting, never quite solid. It can make it hard for Capricorn to fully trust what they can't always understand. It sounds like a crash course in learning to trust different rhythms, mm -hmm. but when it works, it's magical, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And this brings us to communication, an area where this pairing holds surprising potential. It's true. The source suggests that Pisces can actually help Capricorn tap into their more expressive side. Imagine that Okay. the stoic Capricorn encouraged to share their feelings with more color and depth. Okay, that does sound magical. I always thought Capricorns kept their feelings locked in a vault, mm -hmm. guarded by spreadsheets and to-do lists. There's definitely some truth to that. But Pisces, with their innate emotional intelligence, can help Capricorn unlock that vault. And in return, Capricorn provides Pisces with a grounding energy, encouraging them to channel their emotions in practical and tangible ways. So it's less about you're too emotional and more about how can we use this emotional energy to create something amazing? Exactly. It's a beautiful exchange, but. And there's always a but, isn't there? You know me too well. Hit me with the but. Well, their communication styles can also create some pretty epic clashes, particularly when it comes to their belief systems. Remember, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, the planet of logic and reality. Mm-hmm. They want facts, evidence, and tangible results. Pisces, on the other hand, operates from a place of intuition, faith, and gut feelings. So picture this Capricorn is planning a vacation based on the most efficient route and top-rated attractions. Right. Well, Pisces is all about, let's get lost in this charming little town and see where the day takes us. Talk about travel tension. A perfect example. This difference in perspective can bleed into their overall outlook on life. Capricorn, grounded in the practical, might focus on what's achievable here and now. Right. While Pisces, the eternal dreamer, sees endless possibilities, even if they seem a bit far-fetched to Capricorn. It sounds like a crash course in understanding different languages, almost. That's a great way to put it. And speaking of different languages, let's dive into the emotional landscape of this pairing, because, wow, is it ever complex. Our source calls it a slow-burn romance, hinting at the potential for profound, lasting love. 
But it's not all sunshine and roses, is it? Definitely not. It takes effort, understanding, and a willingness to grow, both individually and as a couple. But here's the thing. This pairing can be incredibly healing for both partners. Capricorn, often so guarded, can learn to embrace vulnerability and emotional depth with Pisces. Imagine a Capricorn finally letting go of that need to control everything, to loosen up and just feel... Okay, now that is a sight I never thought I'd see a Capricorn letting loose. But it makes sense. They're so busy building walls around their heart that they forget how good it feels to let someone in. Precisely. Mm -hmm. And for Pisces who can sometimes get lost in their emotional world, Capricorn provides a sense of grounding and stability. It's like that saying, if you want to fly, you need roots. But the source also mentions some potential downsides, like Capricorn quenching the magic of Pisces. That doesn't sound good. It's a delicate balance. While Capricorn's practicality can be grounding for Pisces, it can also feel stifling if not handled carefully. If a Capricorn is constantly trying to fix Pisces dreams or force them into a neat little box, it can diminish that Piscean magic. So how do they avoid that? It's about finding that sweet spot between encouragement and realism. Instead of saying, that's never going to work, a Capricorn could say, that's an amazing dream. What's one step you can take today to make it a reality? It's about channeling that practical energy in a way that supports Pisces dreams. Support with a side of to-do list. I like it. But let's move on to another big one, shared values. On the surface, Capricorn and Pisces seem to be on opposite ends of the spectrum. You're right, they appear to approach life from different angles. Right. Capricorn is all about tangible accomplishments, hard work, and a little bit of I told you so when their plans go perfectly, while Pisces is more about following their intuition, leading with empathy, and embracing the unknown. So where do they find common ground? This is where it gets interesting. The source points out that both signs actually value stability. They just seek it in different realms. Capricorn finds stability in the material world. Okay. A stable career a comfortable home, financial security, those tangible markers of success. For Capricorn, this isn't just about comfort. It's about building a solid foundation to pursue their ambitions and feel in control of their destiny. It makes sense when you put it that way. It's not just about the money. It's about what that money represents, security control, and the freedom to pursue their goals. Exactly. Pisces, on the other hand, seeks stability in the emotional realm. They crave deep connection emotional security, a sense of belonging, that feeling of being completely seen and understood. For them, that's the real foundation of a fulfilling life. So Capricorn builds the house and Pisces makes it a home. A perfect analogy, but let's not sugarcoat it. This difference in how they prioritize stability can definitely lead to clashes. The source specifically mentions potential for conflict in how they approach beliefs and daily life. Capricorn's pragmatic approach might clash with Pisces' more whimsical, go-with-the-flow nature. Right, like Capricorn meticulously planning every detail of their day, while Pisces is perfectly content to see where the day takes them. It's a recipe for some scheduling showdowns. Absolutely. And this can extend to other areas of their lives, too. Capricorn might prioritize career goals and achievements, while Pisces finds fulfillment in creative pursuits or helping others. So Friday night rolls around and Capricorn suggests a financial planning seminar while Pisces is pulling out their art supplies or volunteering at a local shelter. Talk about different strokes. But on the other hand, couldn't that also be a source of growth for both of them? Maybe Capricorn needs a little more art in their life and Pisces could benefit from some practical planning skills. Exactly. It all comes back to that idea of balance, doesn't it? Finding that middle ground where both partners feel supported and respected even in, in their differences. Mm -hmm. But... um. That does make me wonder about their shared activities. Can a sign that, like, schedules their downtime really find common ground with a sign that practically invented spontaneity? Right. It's like, will they ever agree on what to do on a Friday night? I can just imagine Capricorn suggesting a trip to the museum, like, to, yeah. to analyze ancient pottery, mm. while Pisces is dreaming of getting lost in a live music festival. You're spot on. The source suggests that in the early stages of the relationship, you know, they'll likely be drawn to experience each other's worlds. Capricorn, intrigued by Pisces's free-flowing nature, might actually find themselves enjoying that music festival. Really? Even if they secretly checked the emergency exit roads. Okay, that's hilarious. And Pisces, always the romantic, might find themselves charmed by Capricorn's structured world, at least for a little while. Like, imagine a Pisces willingly attending a board meeting just to support their Capricorn sweetheart. Exactly. It's that initial excitement of something new. But let's be real. How long can that last? The source acknowledges that over time, they'll likely settle into their own separate activities. So it's back to the museum for Capricorn and the music festival for Pisces? Not necessarily. 
You see, there's a glimmer of hope in the shared values department. Both signs, despite their differences, have a deep respect for tradition. Now that's interesting, but for completely different reasons, right? Yeah, precisely. Capricorn, with your grounded earth energy, values tradition because it represents stability and predictability, those cornerstones of their world. Pisces, on the other hand, might romanticize the past, finding beauty and meaning in traditions passed down through generations. So Capricorn is at the family reunion because it's on the calendar, and Pisces is there because they wrote a heartfelt poem about their great-great-grandmother's immigration story. Exactly. It's a shared interest approach from different angles. Mm. This common ground could lead to shared activities like attending those family gatherings, exploring historical sites, or even just enjoying a quiet evening at home, reminiscing about the past. So it's not about like magically becoming the same person or loving all the same things, but rather about finding those unexpected points of connection, those bridges that can be built despite their differences. Beautifully said. And that's a valuable lesson for any relationship, wouldn't you say? It's about recognizing that those differences, those seemingly opposite energies, can actually complement and enhance each other, creating a more vibrant and fulfilling partnership. Absolutely. So to sum up this fascinating deep dive, it seems a Capricorn-Pisces relationship is a delicate dance between structure and flow, logic and intuition, planning and dreaming. A beautiful dance indeed. It's about finding that sweet spot where Capricorn's grounding energy supports Pisces' dreams without clipping their wings, and where Pisces' emotional depth helps Capricorn tap into a world beyond logic and reason. This pairing reminds us that compatibility isn't about being identical, but about understanding and appreciating the unique strengths each person brings to the table. Who knows, maybe, just maybe, this could be the kind of love story that rewrites the stars. What do you think? Could this unlikely pairing find true harmony amidst all that cosmic contrast? That's something for you to ponder as you navigate your own journey of love and relationships.